Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Chimmy. I make videos every week to add value to you as I do to myself. In today's video, I wanted to talk about my third trimester and some of the must-have items during this trimester. At the time of filming this, I am in my final stages of pregnancy, but by the time the video goes up live, I would have hopefully had my baby already. Each trimester is so different from the previous one, so my preferences and needs kept changing every couple of months. Third trimester was all about nesting and self-pampering for me. If by the time you reach 25 weeks, you think you're so big and you cannot get any bigger, wait until the rest of your pregnancy. Then you'll know what I mean. That's exactly what I thought. I was around about 25 weeks around Christmas time and I thought, okay, I'm already super huge now. There's no way I can become any bigger. I just got bigger and bigger and bigger. Your baby actually tends to grow a lot more in the last two months of your pregnancy. So that's from around about 31, 32 weeks onwards. And this is a time where you need to pamper yourself and you have to take care of yourself. For someone like me, who naturally arranges and organizes and tidies things up non-stop, nesting was nothing new. I was just itching to nest in my third trimester. I was itching to organize everything. I was itching to clean and tidy everything. I did the kitchen one weekend, I did the storeroom another weekend, and then I did the nursery another weekend. I was just doing a lot of things and that added on to the aches and pains that I already had. So I had to take care of myself. All I want to talk about, which were my third trimester essentials, are self-care items. First and foremost, warm baths are your best friend. Some people say you can do it every day, some say you can do it like twice or three times a week. It really depends. I've done it once a week and then I increased it to twice or three times a week. Warm baths are amazing. It just relaxes you and it's so nice. There are a few essentials that helps your warm bath. First and foremost, you need a thermometer. I was going to get one for the baby bath anyway because babies need 37 degrees. Nothing colder, nothing warmer. Otherwise, it's dangerous for them. And it's the same for you while you're pregnant. You shouldn't be in a bath which is really, really hot. It should be a maximum of 37 degrees and you can only be in a bath for 20 minutes maximum. So I've got this thermometer which tells you the time obviously and you can set a timer for it. I usually set my timer around 15 to 16 minutes. I don't stay in my bath for longer than that. While you're in the bath, using a non-slip bathtub mat is essential as well. Otherwise, it's very dangerous. The first couple of times when I was in the bath, tub without the mat, I felt so uncomfortable. I just didn't feel safe because I felt like I was slipping and sliding away. I couldn't fully relax at all. The mat that I use is the one that goes all the way from the back of your head to the bottom of the tub. Super safe, very easy to use, very secure suction cups on it and it's just easy to clean also. One more thing that I would add to the bath is Epsom salt. I didn't use it for the first couple of weeks and then eventually I started using it and it's so good, it makes so much of a difference. You can get this so easily in one of your local grocery stores or you just order it online like I do. I order everything online. This one is about £4 for a kg worth and each time you have a bath you need to use one cup worth of salt for one bath. You can add essential oil to your bath if you want to but I don't. I just use a Yankee candle in my bathroom and that changes the entire atmosphere for that 15 or 20 minutes here and there and it calms you down and it relaxes you by the time you're finished. I've experimented this several times. Every time I have a bath before bed, I sleep like a baby that night. I don't toss and turn, I have so much more less achy body or achy arm and I just don't even realize when it's night and when it's day. The next item I want to talk about is a body scrub. I didn't even know I needed this item until I received it as a gift. Some of my friends threw me a surprise virtual baby shower and they sent all of the gifts around to my house. One of the gifts was this set of Sanctuary Spa. It came in a set of three. It had a body lotion, a body wash and a body scrub in it. Can I just tell you, first and foremost, it smells amazing. Secondly, the body scrub does wonders for you. 
because you're already stretching and expanding, the belly area is very, very itchy. For me, it wasn't just the belly, it was my entire body because I had put on so much weight and my entire body had expanded. And I was just kind of uncomfortable most of the time and that's why I needed to oil myself a lot more. I needed to lotion myself a lot more. But when I used this body scrub and then I oil myself or lotion myself, it made a world of a difference. It's just so soothing and so comforting it makes you relaxed. I think you get the gist of it now. Relaxing during your third trimester is the key. And the final item I want to talk about is body oil. I've already spoken about this in my second trimester must have because I included that into my routine during my second trimester when I felt like I was expanding and just the lotion alone didn't do the job. I added this Palmer's oil into the mix as well. In my third trimester, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I was growing and expanding so much. I just grew every week and day after day the baby was going through a growth spurt that my body was expanding and I needed a lot more oil. I'm not concerned about stretch mark. It's kind of hereditary and you can't really help it at all. My concern was being uncomfortable and it hurt to kind of itch your belly, you know, when it's expanding and growing. And it's not good also. It's not good for your skin. It's not good for the baby. It's not good for you to scratch yourself. So you need to oil yourself and you need to lotion yourself. I ended up using this about three or four times a day even. So I would lotion myself first thing in the morning and then I would top up with oil throughout the day and it just kept my skin so moist and comfortable. That truly is my third trimester must-haves. While you're pampering yourself, you're actually pampering your baby because I noticed every time I'm lotioning myself or I'm oiling myself and my belly, my baby kicks a lot. He's very active and he actually enjoys being massaged and he enjoys playing around that way. That's something that you do for yourself and for your baby also. And I think the third trimester is truly the best time to relax and calm down and you know get ready for whatever is to come once a baby has arrived. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you find this useful. If you wanted to find out any of these things I'll leave the links in the description box below as always. Click on the show more so that you can see the links and I will see you in the next video as always. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Take care, enjoy the rest of your pregnancy and I will see you again soon. Bye!